Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is about 8 a.m. right now, and Stella got brushed, and Boo got brushed, and now Simba's getting brushed. He's here in one of the round cat beds. And the cats love getting brushed. I got so much hair off of Stella. So much. How you doing, Simba? The cats had breakfast in their automatic feeders. And let me tell you what happened. So Boo was uh, laying on my bed when his feeder went off. And for some reason, I woke up at like 5.30 in the morning, full of energy. Uh, but I did not get out of bed because it was still dark out. So I was just kind of... Uh, laying in bed, looking at my iPad, and I heard Boo's feeder go off, I think around 6.30 it went off. And he did not go to get his food. So I was like, Boo, that's your feeder, go get your food. And I knew that there were other cats uh, gonna be eating his food if he did not go up and get it. So I got out of bed and walked down the hall, and sure enough, who heard me walking down the hall? Simba and Splash. They came running out of Boo's room because they know they were not supposed to be eating his food. And then I look in Boo's room and who's at the feeder? Stella. So Stella was just about to eat Boo's food. Um, and then Boo followed me into his room. And I was like, Stella, that's not your food. You can't eat that. So I had to kind of like shoo her away. She wasn't happy about that. But she eventually left the room. And then Boo smelled his food he had a primal raw rabbit nugget with a few crunchies and he didn't want to eat it then he came into the living room and he wanted some pets and then i was like all right boo go eat your food and eventually he walked into his room and he ate the primal raw nugget and he left the crunchies i mean at least i think he ate the nugget because i saw him start to eat it i don't know if he finished it because i didn't watch him eat the entire thing he could have just nibbled on it and then left it and maybe another cat walked in and finished it but as far as I know, he ate it, which is good. And the other cats had a Nature's Variety chicken medallion in their feeder downstairs. And I just went down there and all those feeders are empty. So I don't know who ate those. What I keep meaning to do is I keep meaning to put a motion activated security camera on those. So I could see if it's one cat eating all the food or if each cat is actually getting their portion. Um, I just keep forgetting to do that, so I have to try to remember that. How you doing, Simba? Look at all that, look at all that cat hair that came off of you, Simba. You gonna flip over? Let me do the other side. Let me do your other side, Simba. Flip over. Let me do your other side. Come on. Your other side. This side. Let me do this side. Let me do your underneath side. Come on. He says no. He says, I don't need that side. I put the centipede video on for Stella. Now she's very happy. They haven't had it in a few days because the tablet has been charging. But now she has it. It's a fully charged tablet. So she's watching it here. And Boo's watching it from the scratch and roll. Hydrox is now eating his second can of food for the morning and he's very hungry today so that's good. He's been very vocal. That's good. I want to give a shout out to Jim Brown and Daddy's Secret Garden for their super chats this morning. Thank you guys so much. There's a live stream going on of Hydrox's cat shelter and he's enjoying his breakfast. Stella and Boo just kissed each other. That was so nice of them. They're both having a little taste of Hydrox's canned food this morning. There's Stella. Food makes Stella very happy. Look how good cats have it these days. So they get their own furniture. They have their own scratch and rolls to lay on. They have toys to play with. They have bugs to watch on tablets. They have birds to watch on the TV. They have furniture to lay on. And they have windows to look out of. Guys, you guys have it so good. It is 8.43 a.m. And Hydrax was hanging out by the back door. I just gave him some food. 
can of Trader and Joe's turkey and giblets with warm water mixed in. I also gave him some herbs, so I really hope he eats this food. It is 5.11 p.m. and I'm making some cat grass for the cats. I also have a pot of soup on the stove, so if you hear some noise in the background, that is what it is. It is the gas stove. Um, so this is the Jiffy Cat Grass Kit, and the cats love this cat grass, and I'm going to make it for them. This is the cover that goes on top like that. These are the seeds. And then this is the growing medium. So all I need to do is add water. How much water? Um, one and three quarter cups of warm water. So let me go get so let me go get some warm water. And there we have it. It's so easy to plant fresh cat grass, especially when you have a kit. And all I need to do is put this aside for a few days. And once I see it starting to sprout, I then like to put it in the sun. And then after it has grown a few inches, I give it to the cats and they absolutely love it. And I find that a good schedule for planting it is once a month. So right now it's the beginning of the month. Uh, so this will be their cat grass for the month. Tonight, the cats are trying these Whole Earth Farms Crunchies. Uh, this is a bag of dry cat food. It says, goodness from the earth, grain-free recipe, indoor adult. Um, with real chicken and turkey. And let's take a look at the ingredients. And the ingredients are chicken meal. Potatoes, peas, turkey meal, pea fiber, natural flavor, chicken, turkey, salmon meal, chicken fat preserved with mixed to cough rolls, phosphoric acid, choline chloride, salt, organic dried alfalfa meal, taurine, minerals, and then it lists a whole bunch of minerals, um, vitamins, it lists a whole bunch of vitamins. Um, and then a bunch of probiotics. So most dry cat food that is specified for indoor cats is made with cellulose in it. And uh, this one does not have cellulose. And cellulose is an indigestible plant fiber. Um, but this does have potatoes as the number two ingredient and it also has peas as the number three ingredient. And then there is pea fiber as the number five ingredient. So to me, it looks like those three ingredients are what makes this food uh, specifically for indoor cats. It will have a little bit lower protein composition. So if we look at the guaranteed analysis, it says crude protein minimum is 32%, crude fat minimum 10%, crude fiber maximum 6%, Moisture maximum 11% and taurine minimum 0.20%. So that looks okay. Let's check out the recommended feeding guidelines. So they have a weight column, a dry food alone column, and a combination feeding column. So in the weight column, these cats would fall in the 10 to 15 pound range. And if they were only eating dry food alone, uh, then they would get three quarters to one cup per day. So since they get two meals a day, that would be a half cup per meal. But they also get a crunchy snack at night, like they had another snack at night. So that could potentially be like a third cup uh, per meal. But that's if it's only dry food. For combination feedings, uh, which would be some dry food and some wet food, it recommends three quarters of a cup of this dry food 
with 2.75 ounces of canned food per day. So 2.75 ounces is roughly a three ounce can and they're saying a three ounce can per day. So that would be like half of a three ounce can per meal, which is pretty much the same amount of raw food that the cats get. They get about 1.25 ounces or like 1.5 ounces of raw food per meal. And then as far as crunchies go, they normally get about two tablespoons of crunchies at crunchy time at night. Maybe they get three tablespoons of crunchies. Now two tablespoons is like, um, an eighth of a cup and um, maybe during the course of their entire day uh, they get a quarter cup of crunchies each okay the cats each got a tablespoon of crunchies they're on edge right now because there's almost like a storm going on outside it's rainy and very windy and they all just freaked out a few minutes ago and ran away but uh, when they heard the crunchy jar, then they all came running back. So um, it looks like the cats like these crunchies. Splash is eating some. Simba's eating some. Stella's eating some. And Boo's eating some. They're all like getting ready to run at any minute. Meanwhile, I just looked at the uh, live stream and Hydrox is like completely asleep in his house. Like he's safe and sound in there. And these three are a nervous wreck. And what happens is when one cat freaks out, it freaks out the other one. So like if Splash freaks out, it freaks out the other ones, they all freak out. It's very important to stay calm at all times when dealing with cats. They enjoyed those crunchies so much, they're now getting a second tablespoon of crunchies. These crunchies are very small. They're probably some of the most delicate crunchies uh, that I've seen. And it feels like the cats are taking a little bit longer to eat them also. Stella is being very neat and dainty with hers, even though some have escaped the little plate. It's nowhere near as much as the other cats. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.